K Black Boston. Coming to you another video. I can easily take the high road on this. But why should I? If the shoes on the other foot, y'all wouldn't. So fuck it. You know, ESPN, right? You know, they was riding Lomachenko's nuts the whole goddamn, you know, whole time, the whole telecast. You know, I'm not really concerned about that, though. You know, that, that's, you know, that's, that's to be uh, expected. My whole thing is, though, that they continue to, you know, he they got him as number one, I believe, right? I think they got him, I think they got Golovkin as number one. I don't give a, it, it really doesn't matter, right? They got him at the top of the damn uh, pound for pound. And some people actually believe that narrative, right? And they go, you know, they get to say, like, you know, they basically put Floyd Mayweather's name in, uh, saying, they brought his name up saying, like, Floyd Mayweather basically did the sport a disservice by putting so much emphasis on his O by being undefeated, right? And the reason why is because they already know Lomachenko got a loss, and no matter wh what they want to say, no matter how they want to do it, no matter what he's have done since then, he's, this motherfucker still got an L. And you can't erase that. You know, thanks to him, though, uh, Salido lost last night, so you know, he, he said it's going to be his last fight, I believe, you know. So he don't have to revenge that. You know, it is what it is, though, on that. But the thing is this. What ESPN is saying is absolutely correct. A loss doesn't make you, you know, uh, a horrible fighter. My whole thing is this, though. If Earl Spence lose, if Terrence Crawford lose, if Deontay Wilders and the rest of those guys lose, say that same narrative then. Don't try to trash them if they take an L and try to, uh, and try to amp this media hype motherfucker up. You know? And it's not about last night, him, you know, getting a victory. Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't care about that. You know, he got the victory. Okay? I can easily say, well, he got the victory over a smaller, older man. I can say that same, all that shit. But I said no excuses from K-Black. Because I already knew all of that going in. And I picked Rick and Dow to win anyway. I got the prediction wrong. But who who gives a shit? You know, eventually you're going to get the shit wrong. You know, this is my first prediction. I've been, I've been on YouTube for about a year now, I believe. And I haven't got one wrong yet. And this last night was the first time I got one wrong. So it is what it is. It is, it is what it is when it comes to that. You know, you're gonna you, like I say, you, you're not gonna get every prediction right. But what I'm gonna say is, you know, I'm not jumping on this motherfucker's bandwagon. You know, I know it's I know he got the the complexion for the protection. I don't give a fuck about him, Triple G, Kova Left, all none of the rest of these motherfuckers. It's just what it is, man. That can say K Black is a sore loser. I can give a fuck about what y'all think or what y'all say anyway. And if I come on my damn channel talking bullshit because of this video, I'm gonna block your ass. It's just that it's just that quick. It's just that easy, man. Cause I'm not listening to y'all trash ass content. So don't come to my channel and listen to my content. It's just what it is, man. I'm not taking a high road. You know? Fuck it. Cause like I said, until y'all start giving fighters like Deontay Wilder, Crawford, Spence, and others props, I'm not gonna get none of y'all fighters props. I don't care how y'all try to media I don't care how how y'all try to media hype these motherfuckers. I don't care how many times y'all try to push these guys off on us and show them over and over and over. They still gonna be in the same book. These motherfuckers not in my top nothing. None of them. And they never will be. And y'all can say what y'all want to say. And y'all can feel what y'all want to feel. It's just the truth. Y'all give my fighters. Y'all give our fighters props over here in the U.S. Uh, maybe. Then maybe I'll start giving them fighters abroad a little bit of shine. Until then, fuck all of them. Y'all can easily say that, hey... The way that Rick and Dow fought, he never fought like that before. It looked fucking red. It looked fixed. Just like the long, just like the Nicholas Waltz. I can say that shit, but I'm not. Because I'm not like you motherfuckers. I'm not like y'all, dog. Make every excuse in a fucking book. Because like I said, the shoes on the other foot, believe me. The excuses would be y'all having fun and salsa, salsa dancing and, you know, all elated. But if the shoes on the other foot... Y'all have every excuse in the goddamn uh, in the book. And don't worry about it. Just like every other media high fighter there is, once they take an L, he already got an L, but once they take another one, they're going to jump off the bandwagon and find somebody else. They'll jump on Bitter B, Bitter B, Bitter B, Bitter or whoever the fuck else coming up the ranks then. Man, it is what it is. K Black Boston. Like, comment, subscribe.